Hello guys. So before we begin our discussion today, let me introduce slightly what is meant by the GPA and the CGPA grading system. This grading system has been widely used in most if not all of the universities in Malaysia. And I found out that quite a number of people or at least within my circles of friends have no idea about how the CGPA system works. One of the reasons can be because we are so used of a system where we simply need to report our grades only instead of making it into a form of point, which can be seen in the three major examinations taken by us throughout our 11 years of studies, the UPSR, PMR, and SPM. So for example, I can say during my UPSR examinations, among the seven subjects taken, I scored a 6A1B. used to the system where we can just report how many A's, how many B's, how many C's we get for each examination and suddenly all your grades can be reported in a scale of 4 and be like what? This is why I'm here today to tell you how the CGPA system works. I thought you are making this video simply because you are running out of ideas. Shh. It's our secret. Okay, so back to where I am just now. Before we proceed to our calculations, we need to know what is meant by credit hour and also grade point. Basically, for every subject you'll be taking during universities or pre-universities, they will be assigned a default credit hour. However, I will not go in depth about how these credit hours are calculated. So here is an example of the conversion table used by universities to convert the grade to its corresponding grade point. Do note that this table serves only as a reference as this conversion table varies according to universities. So now let's assume that this is the result slip of someone studying for two semesters and for each semester, this guy takes three subjects and the grades are as shown in the result slip. So at this point, what we need to do is to transfer the grade into the corresponding grade point using the conversion table earlier. And also we need to determine the credit hour for each of the subjects. And after filling in this, then we can calculate the product of the grade point and credit hour for each subject, abbreviated as GC here, and also calculate the total credit hour and total GC for each semester and then we will come up with this. And so now we are done in calculating all the things I said earlier for two semesters and now we should proceed to the next step. Now at this point, I would like to introduce the formula of calculating GPA or the grade point average for each semester. What you need to do is to take the sum of GC over the sum of C for each semester and then you obtain the GPA for that particular semester, as shown here. And we can also calculate our CGPA or cumulative grade point average using the same formula. However, this time round, the summation GC is taken from all semesters and also the summation C is taken from all semesters and is definitely not the average of the GPAs. At this point, there are something that I need to emphasize on. Subjects with greater credit hour will have a greater influence towards your GPA and your CGPA compared to subjects of less credit hour. In mathematical terms, this is called an weighted average with your weightage being credit hours here. Last but not least for the STPM students where their CGPA is calculated simply by taking the average of the grade points for all the subjects they have taken which is different from what I've described earlier, mainly due to the fact of the absence of the credit hour. You can actually take it in this way. All STPM subjects have the same credit hour, and that's why it eventually cancels off and turns out to be a simple average. And the proof of this formula is too trivial and it has been left as an exercise to the reader. Most of you watching this video right now is an Asian which means you are good at math and that means you can prove the formula that I mentioned earlier just now, right? Right, right. Probably I wouldn't get caught for making a racist joke just now, right? Okay, we have been surrounded by the police for attempting to be racist. 